big breakfast. Ding, 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 ding. Dad came into Chip's room. He was ringing a bell. Chip sat up in bed. It's time to get up, said Dad. Mom's away and we have lots of jobs to do. Dad rang the bell on the stairs. Time to get up, he called. Do we have to ask me? It's the weekend. Yes, said Dad. Mom gets back tonight. The house is a mess. We must tidy up. I suppose so, yawned Chip. Good, I'll start breakfast, said Dad. The children came down for breakfast. Bad news, said Dad. The milk has gone off. I've burned a toast. And we have, and we've run out of juice. I'm sorry. Oh no, said Kip. I'm hungry. We'll have to go to the supermarket, said Dad. We need some more food. I've got a better idea, said Chip. Let's have breakfast in the cafe. You can eat what you like, said Dad. Then we'll go. Then we'll do the shopping. Hooray, said Kip. I am going to have a big breakfast. I like blueberry pancakes, said Biff. I want the eggs, said Kipper. Why don't you have a Kipper Kipper, said Chip. Only if you have a chips, Chip, said Kipper. At home, Dad told the children to start their jobs. I'll put the shopping array away, he said. You go tidy your rooms. That's big breakfast. Should give you lots of energy. The children looked at the mess. Let's tidy up later, said Chip. I'm so full I can't move. No chance for a walk then, thought Floppy. Just then the magic key began to glow. The magic took them back in time. It took them to a big house. It took them in a strange hall a big staircase. It's still dark outside, said Biff. Ding, ding. Then a bell rang. Suddenly, a door opened. A little girl came in. She was holding a candle. I'm Rose. You must be the new servants. The housekeeper will see you. Now, follow me, she said. Rose took them down a corridor. corridor into a strange star room. The housekeeper was waiting for them. You are late, she said. Sternly. Sternly. There are lots of jobs to be done. She gave the children lists of jobs. Begin with the cleaning, she said. It has to be done before breakfast. Ah, I see you have brought a dog. Good. Rose took them to a large kitchen. This is Mr. Fry, said Rose. She is the cook. 
Hello, said Mrs. Fly. I see you have brought a dog. Good. Why is everyone pleased that we brought a dog? Asked Chip. Mrs. Point, Mrs. Fry point at a wooden wheel. Put your dog in there. Said she said, I may not like this. Thought Floppy. Rose put Floppy inside the wheel. The wheel turns the meat over the fire. Said Rose. It stops the meat burning. You look like a giant hamster, laughed Keeper. Keeper. Now we must hurry. There's so much to do, said Rose. The lower pump will be up soon. We must finish the jobs. Then we can get his breakfast ready. Mrs. Fry put the meat on a spit. We need this for lower prom's breakfast. She looked at Floppy. Keep running and don't stop, she said. Funny way to get a walk, thought Floppy. What else? Is for breakfast," said Biff. Ask. Asked Biff. Kippers. Obster. Obster. Bread. Beetroot. Beetroot pancakes. L. L and ice cream. Nothing too fancy. Too fancy," said Rose. I'll get it ready. You get on with the jobs on the list. Biff had to scrub the clothes clean. She beat the rugs. She had to make some bread and powder up some wigs. Chip had to clean all the flyer places. He then he had to collect a lot of coal. 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 Next, he polished the silver and polished all the boots. Chip had turned milk to make. He got ice cream from the ice house. He carried water to the bathrooms and scrubbed all the floors. Come quickly, said Rose. The food is ready. We must take it to the dining room. Hurry up and don't forget lower. Plum's newspaper," said Mrs. Fry. The children put the dishes up. The children put the dishes on a big table. Hurry up," said the housekeeper. "Lower Plum will be down soon. He won't want to see you here. In here. To see you in here. In here." At last, breakfast was finished. Was Lower Plum happy with his breakfast? Asked Kipper. No, said the housekeeper. You forgot to order to iron iron his newspaper. I want out, said Kipper. I never want another walk, said Floppy. Ah. At least. At least we can have a rest now," said Chip. A rest," said Rose. "We have to 
start getting ready for lunch. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It was time to go home. What a relief, said Biff. That was hard work, said Biff. Dad came into Biff's room. Hurry up, he said. We've still got lots of jobs to do. Then we have to walk Floppy. Oh no, said everyone. Early next morning, the children made Mom a surprise breakfast. What a big breakfast, said Mom. You have gone to so much trouble. It was nothing, said Biff.